I got some tea for you guys today. For today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different than what I normally do. Today is gonna be more of a chatting video, hopefully getting through to some of you guys. I wanted to kind of like start a conversation and also see if you guys know anything or bring more awareness to this issue. Something happened and I know a lot of people are kind of just in the dark right now. So this video is about an app called Circus, which some of you may or may not know. You probably do if you're clicking on this. And also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me a ton. I wanted to kind of address what's been going on because I'm in the dark, a lot of people are in the dark, and we just want some answers. To get started, I just wanted to do a little bit of background of myself with the app and a little bit of how it started and then where it is now. I started working with Circus years ago, way back in college. I was actually at a TV show. It was The Doctors. There was somebody that worked with Circus that was there and they were like, oh yeah, we do cool events. And it was kind of like when the app was just getting started. So there wasn't like too much out there, but I got introduced to it from one of the girls that I met. I ended up downloading the app and I checked it out and I absolutely loved it. Like when Circus first started, there were so many good opportunities to meet people and network and just go to these events. They'd have these events where they'd find people through the app that you can, you know, say if you're interested in going. And if you are you could say that you're available and if you get chosen you can go to this event and then a lot of times when the event started you were actually getting paid to go to them you didn't want to tell people at the event that you're getting paid there because then it kind of like diminishes their experience so we'd kind of just go fill up space have a great time meet new people and just enjoy it and I was actually a brand ambassador with them I would go to these events I'd meet up with the client make sure everything runs smoothly check members in in and just have a good time and just make sure everything went okay, fill out a report after and then go on to the next event. I really enjoyed it. You know, I was making money on the side in college. That was nice. They had some concerts. They had some like acting gigs, newer restaurants and newer locations were opening up and they'd have you go. You'd get paid to go. You'd get free food if it's a restaurant and you just enjoy yourself. Sometimes they have ones for bars and clubs. You show up, you get a free table, free alcohol alcohol, sometimes free appetizers. It just depends on the location and like what they say we're able to get. There were some really great perks. I met a lot of really cool people through the app and network. It was just amazing. And I was having so much fun with it. Over the years, there were the events, lots and lots of events. Then over time, the events, they started not like paying. So it would just be like free admission. At the start, sometimes they had free Ubers, but they took the free Ubers away after a while. And then they kind of stopped paying after a while. So it wasn't as great as when it started, but when it started, it was like amazing guys. I had the funnest time, like it was so good. So these events are coming up. Some of them like were okay, some not so much. It just like depends on your preferences of like what you like doing going out. Then COVID hit, as everybody knows, we stopped having in-person events and they started having online events where you can opt for products, give your feedback, or review or whatever you have to do for the product. Sometimes you can make a little extra money off of it. Sometimes it's just you get reimbursed for the product or you could have been reimbursed partial of the amount of what it was for the product. It was pretty good if you were interested in the product, if you were using it for gifting, for yourself. It was just a nice way to try new products and get a feel for some new things out there. This is where things got bad and went downhill. So towards the beginning to middle of 2021, they were starting to have payment issues. Issues. They were saying they were switching from PayPal to Stripe, which they did end up doing. However, I never got any Stripe payments. What they did was they were holding people's money, from what I understand. Companies were paying Circus to reimburse us as members for, you know, doing the product review and all of that stuff. And instead of Circus giving the members the money, they ended up keeping it for themselves. So they're making all this money, not reimbursing members from what I understand. If anybody else knows anything, please let me know down below. All of us members are out of pocket all of this money. What makes me mad is that I've worked with them for so many years, had such a great experience 
experience. Lately, things have obviously gone downhill. They recently asked me to film a marketing video for them in I think like June or July. They paid me for it, it was fine. I never saw that video come out, so I don't know what it was for, but it wasn't like anything was gonna happen. I've never had any issues with them. I've always been paid, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna keep doing these offers because I'm getting such great products for such a great deal if I'm getting reimbursed. Pretty much, they went up to the last day. I remember <laughs> they had a bunch of products from Grande Cosmetics, like mascaras. They just kept posting the products and they posted more and more and more and their customer service team was not answering when there were issues. So, you know, okay, like maybe they're a little bit busy. I don't wanna like throw anybody out there, but one of the co-founders or co-investors, he ended up passing away from COVID, which is really sad. I had met him, I'd gone to events with him. He was absolutely amazing. Like he was the greatest guy ever. And I had thought with him passing away, like maybe that's why things were slow at the company and like why people weren't answering, why they were having issues. I figured it was because of that, but it turned out shortly after that, about maybe about two weeks after that, they like decided to shut everything down. No responses from customer service. We received an email saying that they were gonna suspend all of their business operations and that our money was safe in the app for when they rebooted and restarted again. Mind you, I was doing all of these offers thinking, you know, like, all right, it's just a slight setback. They'll get back on their feet. I've had no issues with them before. They've been great. And at this point, they owe me over a thousand dollars in cash from getting reimbursed, which I was never reimbursed and I still don't have that money. My mom's in the same boat. I got my family hooked on the app and I don't think too many of my friends were still doing it, thankfully. So many people got screwed over. If you guys know anything, please let me know down below. That word is conversation. If you comment conversation down below in the comments first, you'll get a shout out in my next video. As of today, I checked the app it is December 19th now and I checked the app and my cash balance is completely gone. My information has gone. Everything is just gone. I also wanted to quickly add that the website was also taken down so you can't even access the website anymore. So there's like no way to access anything. I still have the email saying that they've got my money for reimbursement. I took screenshots. I hope everybody else did as well. I did find a group on social media that has been very helpful with people coming together. I'm going to ask on that group if it's okay to post the link to it down in the description box. If they say yes, I will post it in case anybody else wants some more insight. But as of now, I don't know if we are going to get any of our money back, which is very, very extremely disappointing disappointing. I don't know if a lawyer can do anything because they did change their clause and their agreement and policies if you use the app and everything. So they changed that earlier this year. I don't know if it was because they were expecting this to happen or planning for this to happen but yeah i don't know what to do at this point i really want my money back and it also sucks because if i do what some other people have done which some people have said they're successful some people have reached out to companies directly and you know explained the issue and apparently the companies are super nice and have been helpful but at the same time you feel bad because the company got scammed as well from circus so the company that you got a product from has paid Paid circus reimbursement and now they're paying double to pay you reimbursement so I kind of feel bad at the same time reaching out to companies asking for them to help because they are losing double and I guess for a large company that's not like the biggest loss but if they're a smaller company you kind of feel bad even though it's not our fault it's not our fault it's not the company's fault it's circus's fault so if you guys have any recommendations if you guys have heard anything please let me know if anybody has talked to a lawyer I would love to hear what they have said because honestly I feel like we could maybe do like a small claims or if everybody like chipped in or did something if we all came together I feel like something has to be done like there's gotta be a way the owner of circus right now his name is Steven George which I have met in person before I had no issues he was nice a little bit on the quieter side that's just my personal experience I have heard other things but he is the one who's in charge and 
and he's been silent. Nothing. Won't answer anybody if you reach out. Apparently I've heard people get blocked. <laughs> I haven't reached out because I mean, I just, I, I don't really know where to go with this. So that's the tea for today. I also have a video on circus on my channel. Like, I don't know if I should remove it. I don't know what I should do, but I also kept it up because some people are starting to comment about the app. So I think in that video, I'm gonna leave a link to this video and obviously comment in the description not to join. There are no offers, no events, nothing on the app anyway, so it's not like you can really do anything with it. I have referred members recently because I didn't know this was gonna happen and I did not get a referral bonus. I don't know if they still have their office running or not. I would go in person. I had been to the headquarters before in Hollywood, but I have never been to their new one in Santa Monica if they still have it. I don't currently live in California anymore. I moved out of there. Otherwise, I would go and check it out, see what's going on. If anybody knows anything, please let me know down below. Let's start a conversation. Let's try to get this figured out because we're all in the same boat. I want my money and I don't know how to get it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Today's video shout out goes out to Stacy Richardson. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want a shout out in my videos, make sure to watch the entire video and look out for the shout out word. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys, bye.